to get some of it here. It All is right. Sunday, it's, it's the final game. It's day of rest, perhaps. But yeah, Furia, MIBR, let's see how they interact in the server. Another best of three, the last one of the evening. So make yourself comfortable. We're in it for the long haul. We do have two of the greats from the South American region that has blown up in the Counter-Strike scene over these last years. The spearhead of the assault was headed up by Fallen. He's still in the server tonight to buy Surrounded by names he's inspired and played with for many years. A combination of both. Fur is one of them, and he has drawn first blood. Just like that, Vinny sent back to spawn. So, here we go then. MIBR on their map pick. I can't believe it. They must have been working hard on Inferno. It's a map that's always been controversial for them, and we will see them head towards the apartments now. Caserato. He'll be dealt with, but it's going to be a lovely shot from Yuri. Do they commit off this, though? They've got a lot of presence here towards the apartments, and it's going to be a four versus three in favor of MIPR. Oh, Art's been heard right now. Fallen's going to be behind him. Should take him down with ease, or at least communicate that. P250 will strike. Now to 214. The avenue towards the B bomb site is completely open. The rotation now. Or well, they're hightailing it over there, but so is K Serato. Can he beat them? There will be a smoke for spawn. There's a flash in play. Never mind. Fallen's just faking this one out. I'll smoke off spawn. I'll definitely sell this one through. And we'll head back towards A. Henny's still there. 100 points of health, armor, and a USP. Oh, Lord, Henny, what could you possibly do? He hears the steps. He's in a good position for one. May and oh! He did manage to adjust, and KNG keeps him safe. So this round is over, and MIBR happy to take the pistol round. Four still standing as well. It's actually a very impressive pistol finish there. Well recovered after losing the first couple of kills as well. Just poor old okay, Serato towards B. I need to make a decent effort here. Down to 27 though, and Taka will find him in the end. It is going to be 1-0 as MIBR. We'll send Furia packing, but we do know the four spies are almost locked in on the second round of Inferno if you give her the pistol. I'll be sure for try to kick things off here, but Taco answering back with that USP. Ball and catching. Art as he pushed down Banana. All led into their success here. And like I said, I'm expecting the four spy. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to happen. And uh, there it is. There it is. It'll come through either way. So there are many focusing on the smokes here. Okay, Serato, a little bit late on the purchase, but it's absolutely fine. Gets an HE and a smoke himself. And then we are, we'll be bringing out three rifles, two Mac 10s, and I hope some slow pacing here. We don't want to see any rushes. No one needs to find a kill. Just stay together, get some map control, and do something together eventually. We got to watch Fury just the other day against Liquid on this map, and they look good. They 2 0 that series. They did. But you never know. These games are always a little bit strange when the derbies are on the server. Remember, Dignitas taking out Fnatic just a few days ago. Really difficult to explain that game to anyone after Fnatic just picked up Kata, oh, Pro uh, League Trophy. Pro League. Yeah, yeah. Navi did Kata beat, so. Well, they lost today to VP as Indeed. well, so Counter-Strike at the moment is in a bit of flux. Anyone can beat anyone, and Vinny gets the opening with the Deagle. That might make MIBR think better of this mid-push. All four players congregated right now, very, very close towards the precipice of mid. Still smokes, and 50 seconds left on the clock. This is looking good for Furia. It's yeah. fantastic. That boost from Yuri, especially. Oh, but he gets knocked off his perch. Vinny has found a second. He actually landed a lot of damage. That looks like a nade went off, but it was just Vinny who's gone off. And Caserato, he has finished this one. Taco's only got eight HP. The bomb is in Caserato's remit. He's getting a little kill hungry, and that does cost him the advantage. I don't think Taka can win this, unfortunately. With 8 HP, he's going to have no idea that Henny's actually on the side of this stage. So dropping a smoke, sure. Well, that will take vision away from library, but Henny's already on the side here. HG towards the bomb side suggests so he has no idea, and as soon as he pulls a ping, that's when Henny can swing. And it will be Fury up. Bouncing back. We do always say those second round force by seem to be deadly, but they might be a bit clumsy there towards quad. If they had grenades out, no one really ready for any particular swing. And with 40 seconds remaining, they could have been a lot more careful about that one. So do they force back in response? KNG seems to think so with the Mac 10 and Tech 9s. Well, now we can ask for faster pace, right? Sure. Let's get a rush in. Yeah, let's, let's, get get it, <laughs> let's get it over with. Let's get something quick on the cards. So they're going to the Tech 9s. What can they really do with this, though? It's going to be the, a, a B play with two smokes down, one spawn, one coffins. Maybe some post plan maneuvers there, but it doesn't look to be too technical. Just sending big numbers up towards B and Arts. He'll be taken down. A lot of damage dipped out there, to be fair to them. KNG down to 16, Taco and Fallen around 50. So a 4 and 4 still, huge advantage for Furia. 
Yeah, and I think that knee damage in the death is enough for them to start moving away from it. And Keiserato, his push is so perfectly timed, he can call Banana Clear. He's actually chosen to smoke it, so he won't have that information readily available. And that information is delivered oh. and deleted. Henny holds down the trigger and finds all three. Beautiful. That's what we like. And it has to be the eco now from IBR. 2-1, and the loss bonus only had $1,900. So here's a replay in case you missed it. You heard the screaming, you've run back to your TV, and this is what it's all about. And they go up and get absolutely dealt with by Henny there. So we will see MIBR with just the Glocks, no armor, no nades, no real money invested. We've got KNG on the P250, but that's about it. Well, this is one of our fun rounds, boys. We've got any fun topics? Alex, I'm looking at you. You look like a fun guy. A uh, fun guy? I don't know what you're talking about. I only spend some time in the forest floors. <laughs> you get it because uh, <laughs> mushrooms and, yeah. uh, and they're, they're fun. I got it. I got it. My favorite dad joke is the one about the, the spider. That's my favorite one. I don't know if you guys heard me tell that one. How does it go? The spider. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I was, I was at home with my uh, with my girlfriend the other day, and, and she screamed there was a spider in the house, and she told me to take it out. Took him out to the pub, had a couple of beers. Turns out he uh, wants to be a web designer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. Delivery's usually much better once I've prepped for it. I yeah, kind of, no, absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. also it's saying, have you heard this joke, and then delivering it yeah, afterwards, which, usually it does cripple it. Murder I'll, it. I'll work on it. I'll work on, on some more dad jokes to bring to the broadcast. No, I've no been worries. lacking in that department. Very sexy knife for KNG. And now they're charging up towards second middle. Let's see if there's any action towards the apartments early. Art's oh, fancying it, and Taco was ready. More than prepared for the mid aggression. There is a chance for some more. That chicken could have just completely ruined Yuri's chances. Doesn't look like Fallen's been keeping his ears pricked up for any noisy poultry. Taco has found one. Henny with the equalizer, his aggression, and Keiserato stopped theirs. They can't wrap Arch now. A site should be theirs completely, though. The only voice in this will be Henny returning from apartments, but bomb down. No follow-up grenades here. That's the main issue for MIBR. They have to be quite combative. They can't allow Fury to get close and flash them out of position. This is a very important kill, and Fur, he does well. The adjustment for Keiserato as he crouches around the corner there isn't quite enough, and KMG Absolutely rocks Yuri's world there. We're gonna have a three on one with Henny. No kit, smoke and a flash available to him. But the first kill has to be a clean one. He'll be swinging around to the bomb side. So oh. not a bad effort. I didn't mind that at all. Still didn't have the kit, but still very impressive. And to go three two, and might be up. We'll pull one back. The money's okay on the CT side. Furia will have eight thousand dollars for a couple of the players. So Art will bring out the AWP and Henny with the secondary AWP as well. So a lot of experienced names with the sniper rifle. Henny, we haven't seen him with the AWP for a while, Chad, have we? Yeah, when they were playing against Liquid, they were changing it up, right? Some round Henny would take it towards A, some rounds Art would take it towards B, but here bringing out the double AWP setup, but that's what I would be expecting MIBR to be doing within their CT side once we yeah. get there. So this could be uh, a very AWP heavy series right now as up towards Banana again, lots of damages dealt. Case Rudder and Art will be naded on down to half HP for both. KNG also kept on notice. 21 points for him. And look at this. So many Molotovs and nades exchanged in the early stages here. A minute 30 left on the clock, and the B defenders are almost out of nades. On the rotate back is Vinny. Oh, they're doing a four-man B lean. I love this. If they re-aggress with all these players here, this is the type of counter-strike I love to watch. And certainly is some re-aggression on the cards. Art was making sure there was no one tucked it on the barrels now. Should have a free frag onto KNG, but they overwhelm. No, they don't. He stands and vigilantly holds down to find fur. 4v3 though. Keiserato. Oh, he saw a glimpse and he pushes through him and Vinny. It's more than enough. Bullet's just going to get keep getting thrown through that smoke. It leaves Taco a little late to this advance. He's got very few options ahead of him. Not really sure what Taka can do with this one, chaps. He will have the smoke and Molotov, but 30 seconds suggests he won't be doing much at all. It was the B approach from IPR, but greeted by Art and Vinny. And it looks like everything will be going in Furious Ray round number six. In terms of cash, though, I have $1,900 for IPR for this one. Ooh. Very awkward with Taco here. Just trying to get one kill before he's dropped. And as you can see, the money on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, it's partial buy territory. Not really that exciting for round number seven. They can get some Desert Eagles and armor, but that's about it. Taco and Fur, the only ones can really justify that. They got orbs, though. I'm uh, sorry, the double orb. They repicked that up yeah. for art, and and that's kind of 
can be a problem, right? Because if MIB are able to get one or two kills and then get into a bomb site and the orbs are still remaining, retaking becomes very difficult. So they're not out of the clear just yet. There was one smoke and Fur with the Kevlar and Taco as well, to be fair. So Henny will flash over and look towards T-Steps, trying to get a bit of intel as to what kind of buy they've got. But that's great information in itself. An opening frag, and you can pretty much guarantee they'll be down a pistol to this point of Taco's challenging from T-Steps. Uh, trying to make this jump up. Can be awkward with the smoke down there as well. You don't want to be better off just getting boosted. Oh, we love that setup they did the... Well, I know I love the setup oh, they did the other day. Yeah. yeah, that was a cool one. That was a lot of fun. Very visible. You can wall bang it now, but Fur chooses not to. Yeah, I don't like holding that angle with the orb. It's like you got the first 15 seconds, but then as soon as the right hand side's exposed as well, you can't even see that with the orb scope. So it can get a little bit problematic, but lives to tell the tale. And Art will be removing Mayo. So they've got a five on three here. I saw it chat with I don't know why you'd go for another peek there. Just fall back. Art Keep is uh, the definition of counterintuitive yeah. counter strike, but it's just right? Like, there's nothing to gain there apart from losing the orb. You get another kill maybe, but. What does that really mean when they've got Glocks? Now they could just save this orb, which they probably wouldn't have had uh, with the Lost Spiders 2400. They could barely afford it, but they might be able to save it now. Yeah, well, Kanji can do some more damage and take more guns out of these CT's hands. So they're creeping up middle here. It is now a bit more of a passive hold. Still close towards quad will be Yuri. He might get a quick mop here if he decides to push on out. And here it comes. That's the duel. Huge shot from KNG. That's a start. Forces the rebuy. They're going to boost KNG up. They're just setting him up for success here. This might catch Ke Henny off guard. If he gets up onto that, yes. Yes, on the balcony. This is such a good peek. Henny's holding this lower angle. If he jumps across one more, they seize him on the flash. And oh no, a missed shot. Maybe squandering their chances now. Furs looking a bit panicked. KNG, however, has hit another one. Three in the round. It was an eco and one second to spare. He gets the bomb down. K Serato looking to dig Fury out of this hole. And Art's Orp finds all of them. It's well, KNG. I'm, there you glad, go. I'm glad that happened. Now Art will never do that again. He's probably learned the biggest lesson you probably can at that point. You're against Glocks and one Deagle. And what? Not even a flash, I think. I think they had a Desert Eagle at the very top end. And it's a five versus three. So bear all that information you've just received now. A five on three, and you've decided to challenge close range of the orb when you had every opportunity to get back because you got greedy. That's it. I got greedy. And at that stage, he gives up the orb to one of the, the best snipers in his region, and he gets punished for it. And they're going to have to learn from those mistakes. Huge KNG to punish. My God. They set him up for success every step of the way, not only giving the orb, boosting the orb, everything. Oh. And Art... He's making up for it. straight back, grabs himself an AK for his troubles. How do you get out of this one? He smoked himself and pushes forward. It makes no sense, Chad. You're absolutely right, but it works. Now, the fact he dropped the smoke, that they're assuming he's using that to escape, right? So he drops the smoke and then emerges from it. They've got their guns out looking to chase after him. He gets two kills from an MP9 there, so that's great. A three on three, if they can win this round, they might have done enough for some forgiveness here. Who was the individual we saw do that play? Was it um, Brolin? It was Brolin. It was, it was Brolin. Brolin. He went all the way down. Down. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. Well, this is going to be the B hit right now. And just one defender, K Serato, the man at the moment, as far as Brazilian Counter-Strike is concerned, tucked away in the emote. He's going to have to deliver a couple here. K Serato is poised for the first. Does make a little of a meal of it. Shouldn't be too punished. Mayan does get the bullet, though. And that enables the site open enough for a plant rotating in. Only the CZ for Yuri, a single HE, perhaps MIBR can still convert this. They don't have much utility either. The smoke does plume. That should try and keep them at bay. Yuri might push through it, though. He's put some bullets to draw attention, at least. Two on two. Mayhem needs to deliver here. Gets the advantage of the shadow, and he converts it. MIBR win the round. And they will be taking us to 4-4. Fury, I presumably, will be broken at this point as well, even after Art's efforts there for redemption down towards middle opens things up. A nice, intelligent smoke as well. So Jesse's he's fallen back, then vaults back through it. It was a great play, but may will make light work of them towards the end. You can see that shadow advantage towards the ruins position. And I'm guessing it's an eco here for the loss bonus. Uh, where it stands at third stage, they're going to have $2,400 into the next round. So it's one of those situations you can't buy a single thing. And Fury up. Can they replicate the scenes from MIBR and get some eco success themselves? Gave it a good go, and he throws his body down middle. He's just met by lead, as is Arts. This time towards apartments. That's twice Fur, Fur has caught the app's aggression from the CTs. I like to boost from Vinny. That will enable Keserato to maybe get the double dink off. 
then he's just uh, inspecting his teammates. Um, that's all he can do. Maybe looking at the mini map. Maybe Case Rider's been doing some squats recently. Who knows? But what I can tell you is when we watched Furia versus Liquid go down the other day, it was actually an 8 7 half in the favor of Liquid. And then once Furia were able to get onto their T side, they posted 9 to close things out to the 5 of Liquid's CT half. So if you're a little bit worried right now as a Furia fan that this is looking a bit close, MIBR are about to pick up their fifth round, they could be running away this half, don't sweat it too much. Furia have a potent T side of their own. This should be uh, a formality. I think that's what we'd call a round like this. Maybe I'm not taking any chances though, and you can't blame them. Every death in a round like this is uh, money you sh technically should not have needed to have lost. Committing towards B, at least with his utility, and Mayan, oh. he knows there's going to be another one on B now. He's beheaded, Keiserato. Does channel them in towards Yuri's position, but yeah, they're going to be very thorough. He does well to find that one, and actually he's dinking up another two kills with 12 US people. It's up against fully armored opponents. You really can't do more than that. Well, 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 Vinny. Anything he can do with this one, I'll be impressed. He's got just $1,900 and no armor weapon. Makes his way through the library. Does some decent damage there towards Taco. Fair play, but that's all he'll find. MIBR stretching their legs now on Inferno. As we'll see them find a 5-4 to four lead. Money's still not great on the Furious side of things, though. It's going to be M4s across the board in a tactical timeout, their first so far. It was looking oh so good for them, and then losing to the Glocks and Desert Eagles have found themselves in a bit of a compromised state. The FAMAS now will be brought out for Vinny. And for Henny, we'll have 4,300. Might have to be a similar outcome here, focusing on that utility and steps. Here's the problem I have, Henry. I don't know if you prescribed to this too. The double ops was looking great. We saw Henny get openings, we saw Ark get openings, but then they just overstayed their welcome, right? And that's where they found themselves in this position. Three rounds on the trot for MIBR at this point. So for Fury to get up the double orbs, they will need to convert this one, steal Fallen's AWP, hope that he doesn't save it, and then have to start building a bit more cash to grab a secondary if they want to run that CT side of defense yet again. This buy is looking better than I thought it would. One diffuse kit in play, a bunch of utility. Everybody has Molotovs besides Yuri and Henny. So they can make this one work right here. So, no initial aggression at CTs, but they are ready to fight. Waiting for KNG just to run into their crosshairs here. The MP9s will scoop up the first kill. The Flames will convert the second. And we've got a 5 on 3 to Fury here. And a compromised situation as well. So, it's up the Fallen. And it's infamous Slipe Up to try and pull this one back in the 3 on 5. Certainly possible. The initial utility deployed. But Taco, blind at this stage. Segregated from his teammates. Has to find a kill. Oh, he's going to get a chance. Perhaps on to Vinny. What a shot from Taco. Bided his time, steadied his aim, held his breath, and executed a second as well from Taco. Oh, he is crisp today. Vinny's the last one on the site. He's only got the FAMAS, but he still manages to make it work for the first. Finally, shuts down Taco, but the damage is done. What was a 3v5 is suddenly a very manageable two on two. Keiserato will tuck into Moto, flank from short as well. As that smoke fades, there will be a duel, but there's a second blooming just as the last was fading. It's on to Art. He's making no secret of his position, but he has found the first. Fallen to clutch. Takes the first. Knows the second is coming. Keiserato playing around the smoke. He's got to choose this timing perfectly, but Fallen does not stutter, and he will secure the sixth. Good stuff from Fallen. This is looking good for him, I'll be our Chad. I have to say, pretty impressed so far. Yeah. They were gifted a couple of rounds by some mistakes here, but generally speaking, they are putting up a valiant effort. This is a solid performance on Inferno so far. I'm not sure how you get the two openings yet again, basically for free, yeah. and then you lose another round. So, uh, Furia with the aggression of being punished at this point, and that's good, right? This is what happens then when they're on the rise. Nobody was expecting it. Their art was hyper-aggressive. They had a lot of fast strategies. They were using the Org and the Krieg before it was even part yeah. of the meta. They were uh, very explosive. And then they got figured out. People knew their moves. People knew what to expect and started to be able to stop those type of plays. And MIBR, well, being able to pull out two three-on-five situations so far in this first half with only 10 rounds played. That is fantastic stuff. Big love to Taco for that one. He took matters into his own hands. Got that double kill. So just uh, 
Deagles and CZs here, but Art, he's got my favorite weapon, the old Zeus there. Oh dear. Oh, Henny. That's oh. gonna hurt, and he actually gets away with it. They throw the Molotov, but don't even check it. They just assumed it was clear. It's going through the default, it seems. You gotta check it. There was a kill available to him. Shouldn't have too much of a knock-on effect. As you can see, they've only got USPs and Deagles, but you know, his position does look a little bit scary to me. We'll see whether he can convert this. Taco. Back towards quad again. And they've done a great job so far. They have mid and banana control. They got it all. And now it's just a choice as to where they'll finish. Does look like it's going to be that A hit. And Yuri said it looks spicy. And oh, we had a chance. Hard shot to hit. Not this time. And now those rifles do have a distinct advantage. They know exactly where he is. There is not many nades. It will be bullets for MIBR to convert here. And nice hold from Henny. Does manage to chip away at the MIBR numbers with his P250. The Deagle's not quite there. And so this round does reach its logical conclusion. Bomb down and the CT's detached. Do we think the double ops are going to come back out I now? I think so. I mean, especially after conceding this amount of rounds. Right? This will be the fifth in a row. Sure. And normally it's the way you can dig yourself out. We know they've got some fantastic opens within their squad. Uh, with the likes of Art and Henny there, I think it's the only call you can make at this so stage. Both Henny and Art will get uh, 6,400. So they already have uh, 3K residual right now. They're about to get the 3,400 loss bonus because now they will have lost five rounds in a row. So quite the haul from MIBR here. And the majority of these players will be able to live in the pit. So you won't see them scampering too far away from the bomb site. Fur's probably going to go and jump on a few of his teammates' heads to get as far away as possible. Here it is. Hello, hello. And that's round number seven on the board. So good stuff for MIBR. If Fury want to have any fight here in this first map, they need to start turning it around here because this one's going very quickly. It certainly is. MIBR looking convincing as well. So we'll see if that double orb does ring true. Art will confirm his. We need Henny to drop his in as well. It's looking like he's the last player to purchase into this round. So I know he fancies the AWP. It's two timeouts remaining here for Furia. But never mind, this is the pick of MIBR. And Vertigo next. We've actually seen MIBR play that map quite a lot recently. Every time I tune into one of their games, it always seems to be on there. Yeah, they are on a two-map loss streak on it. But before that, they had some decent results. So it is a map that they could, you know, potentially be able to pick up. And if Furia play the same way they did against Liquid, very basic A approach, and MIBR have done their homework, that could be a 2-0, and that would be remarkable because as you heard us talk about at the start of the show, everything is still open within this group. Furia are guaranteed a top three slot within group B, but MIBR are fighting for either elimination or first place. So lots on the line. Lots of RMR points. Lots of volatility there for MIBR, my God. I think the same is for Liquid at the moment who are playing Yeah. So we've got uh, the B and the C games going on right now. Team Liquid versus Yeah and Bad News Vers versus Envy. Picking a boost start up, looking for that opening frag for now, just on the logs and yeah, not gonna stand his ground off that flashbang. There will be no fights to be found early on Banana. Instead, a smoke and a flash to set Fur up in middle, straight through. And denying all of that information. Henny's starting to panic, realizing he has to turn his attention elsewhere. They're already onto the site, and Yuri's got them both. Mission accomplished. Now the crossfire's established. Yuri doesn't even need help. Vinny will chip away and contribute onto Fallen, but just like that, the round ends. KNG, Taco. We've well, seen they... a 3v5 already, Chad. Yeah, Maybe. 2v5, possible. Maybe. I'm going to say possible. Bomb on the A site, in the grasp of Yuri. Oh, I don't know. This is actually looking a little bit scary for them. KNG, patient as ever. A gun falls from the skies. <laughs> and now nothing makes sense at all. 45 seconds. Flashbang and nades delivered, but the smoke down. Does KNG use this to vault up on the hay bales? Actually, he does. It might be helping him out some more here. There's the first. He could get a second. Nice work from Henny, though. We will be taking him out of the equation. And Taco left at 30 seconds. This is going to be spammed down. It's Furia breaking the spell at least. They've lost five rounds in a row. Managed to pick up one of their own and save two AK-47s, two orps. So they might be able to still win this half. Yeah, so the double orps. It wasn't the key to success, but... Uh... They yeah, got the win on the board nonetheless. And you can see this position from Yuri, right? This is not an angle that you're clearing as you come into the bomb site. Normally you're dealing with that fast, hard left box, sorry, and then towards the back of the site. Right there, he's just able to mow them on down with a, a, a lovely angle that he's picked on up there. So we'll get this one back underway, or we'll still be out in the hands of Fallen. Time it's a three man B lane coming on in from Furia. Smoke towards top banana to deny vision, boosting on over again. No one home towards logs that we can see, but he's got himself over onto the half wall. He's actually dropped forward. This could be everything. 
Oh, oh no, now he's screwed. Fallen will punish. And that risk reward structure of Art's play, he's feeling the risk part of it and the punish as well. They should do the four man beat. Well, they've lost a member, but they should do the gamble beat stack like they did before. It basically was luring MIBR into a trap. And if nothing comes once you. Never mind. That's even better. Henny getting the equalizer. They know there's another AWP on that A bomb site right now. Does Fallen want a challenge? It's all very quiet. Suggest not. Fallen currently holds top and middle. Bomb on his back, bear in mind. So he needs to be very careful with the challenges he takes. Flashbang over towards Quad. MIBR have put up a great fight here so far. Six rounds out of after seven. We'll see if Henny and his smoke will be a nuisance for him. He's going to flash up Yuri, and this is going to be the swing, but the vision has been taken away. Excellent performance from MIBR, I have to say. Great strategies. You can see how effective they are, but still a few kills found oh. by the likes of Furia. We're down to a four versus one now. Man, I don't think he'll be able to do much about it. And he had a fantastic round there. He picks up four in the end. Half of them just through these slight gaps he managed to manufacture in the smoke. Tiny gaps. Let's see that from his POV. He managed to find the equalizer, taking a bit of a risky glance at middle around that minute mark. This is one just over the top of the smoke. And this little gap as well, he manages to find another. Henny even finding the fourth to wrap that one all up. So a big star performance from him. And that actually puts him level, if not above, K Serato. So both of them pulling their weight here on the CT comeback. Fury can still win this half right now. It was looking pretty bleak after Art made that bit of a boo-boo earlier in the piece. But now it's only pistols in MIBR's hands again. Surely they don't make the same mistakes, Henry. Well, <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to say it should be fine here, but uh, Art's the same <laughs> position up against the same weapons. You, you never know. And you can see a more defensive line. This the line is absolutely fine. It's when you're at the car with a five on three and they're right next to you. That's when I have a bit of a problem with it. And uh, I don't think they'll get that round up again. So, Fury up. Very defensive line here. You can see the AWP has got Serato as well towards Coffin. So, a bit of a fallout plan. We'll see if that works out. Boosting up to half, although, and again, Hearts will get dinged. Luckily, he will survive this interaction, and they're going to commit on it. They're actually my bust. If they take down the orb here straight away, could be a very difficult round to recover, but it looks like they're absolutely fine here. It's going to oh. be a three on two. Oh, oh, here we go. We're back into it now. We're going to see whether they get the bomb planted. Look how far away they are. We've got Yuri and Henny both towards the apartments in the middle here. The bomb's going down, boys. What are you up to? Let's start moving on, shall we? Let's uh, get the knives out. There we go. Fallen has an AWP, though. They even have a yeah, smoke. It's actually happened again, Chad. You, you jinxed it. You got him into this. Man, I didn't know my voodoo was so <laughs> strong. So luckily, there is no armor, I suppose, but there's no incendiaries, no smokes. There is a diffuse kit, but look, they have to clear up the top of B still. They have no idea where Fallen could be. If he's Coffins, he's going to hit at least one of these. Uh, we'll see if it... This oh, is going to be an effective flash. flashbang. I like that. But there is an AK and CT spawn, but that's removed. They can still do this, but they need to go on the defuse right now. Oh! He's seen him, and that should be it. He's going to go for the full DQ. He's not checking it. No, oh, no. Okay, okay. Calm it down. Fallen. He does pick it up and picks up a 4K of his own. He does get away from the blast. And that will put them at eight. They win the half now, guaranteed. Let's see that again. Fallen. Against all odds. Straight through the box. That shot was magic. And so was the second. Finishing it all off, a great orb shot onto Henny, and this was where he got a little nerve-wracking, but he picks it up, a huge round from the Brazilian orper. Yeah, great stuff. That's uh, two rounds, one by the orper single-handedly. KNG had a round where he had a massive impact with the scavenged orb, and Fallen here, getting it done with the Deagle. So, Art, he really needs to think better of these kind of picks. He's going to get overwhelmed again. Oh, oh he actually is going dead. Forward. He's trying to go with a big play here. That's just a nightmare. That's not worked out for him. He really wants to take these jewels, Chad. I just don't get it. It's just it's making me anxious. It's a disruptive play style. And, well, the only thing that's disrupting right now is Furious' chance of yeah, well, winning this half. Yeah, that's a very good way of putting it. Absolutely. Like, I just don't, like, you don't need to find frags. If you're alive and you're a competent orb, but that's enough on the B bomb side. Look what this has done. He's just let his entire teammates down in this last round by being too aggressive. He's lost um, two or three rounds. Yeah, I agree. And one of those was the eco, which led to, what, a spell of five rounds at that point as well? That was started at round seven, converted to four in a row, or five in a row after that. So, unbelievable, really. And uh, that's going to be the final round here. Yuri and Henny will do what they can do, but just the latter remaining now. It's just padding stats right now. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a 9-6 half. MIBR.
half. Let's see if MIBR can run with some of this momentum. KNG's winning clutches again with an eco. It's been ridiculous. And we are only in the first half of the first map, so don't panic. Well, I'm not panicking just yet, Alex, but maybe this rush down towards middle could do it. We are going to see MIBR, aggressive, of course, down towards the T-steps, and it's working out, at least with the first kill, but they've got to be careful of second middle. Bomb down the T-steps, Keiserato, he'll pull a frag back, and they're going to hightail it towards second middle, I think. Is anyone checking the underpass position? Apparently so. We'll check with the ankles, it seems. Couldn't actually have any vision there. And Yuri's on for a couple of kills here, potentially. Fur will find it. And KNG's already found what looks to be the penultimate frag. Just Penny left wondering where his teammates have gone. It was Art who got caught out, and that was their, all their nades. They clearly had an intention for that pistol round that they don't get to put into action. Thanks to the aggressive push. We've talked about it time and time again. More and more CT sides like to bring the aggression out on their pistol round. Interesting off angle here by Fall. I don't think anyone would be checking this if they were rounding the corner here. Here's a left eye peak, probably one of his only uh, concerns right there. But for Henny to win this one, boys, I would say it's probably not on the cards. Oh, damn. Henny was kind of ready for that, but Force has fallen off the line. It's pretty much the only thing he has achieved so far. He's so locked out. Fallen's got both sides of middle. KNG's got his exit up T stairs. Ooh, gets given the fight. Spotted. Bullets whistling past his ear. Oh, and, dear. Okay. If our is low, he decides to take a more <laughs> passive stance, as does Fallen. That's all it took to get some space. He's charging towards the A site here. Well, he seems to know the apartments could be the only option. So if Henny goes for a defensive plan and just nullifies that position, oh, it could be oh. enough. Now he has to draw the pistol oh, and he no. takes Fallen. Oh, it's all Fallen on its ass now. It's going to be a three versus one converted to this scenario with Fur just on seven points of health, spotted by Henny. And he's going for the kill and just one bullet would do it now. He wants to fight as well. I think he's been told he's low and Henny ooh, getting a ooh. bit sketchy now. Missing his opening shots, even though he had the full clip. 14 left in it. I'm not sure what first hoping for here. He's making a ton of noise, but the jump up should be enough. How has Henny not hit a single <laughs> bullet yet? He's hit so Just many one. bangers. Just one. There, there it is. Go. All right. Well, MIVR apparently weren't happy with the success they'd found in the mid stages there. One by one, they get picked off. Henny was in T spawn with the bomb. And he somehow gets given enough opportunities there. Great work with the sound cues found towards apartments, especially. But here he comes. This was the first kill. KNG not being traded out by his teammate there. And it was awkward for Fallen. Ten seconds remaining. Could have waited for Fur, but wanted to disallow the bomb. And it cost him the round. They're going to have to force back. It's about time. Fury is still one of those back, right? They've been on the receiving yeah. end of a bunch of those so far within this first map here. Now this force so buy, yeah, this this force buy, we've got the smokes behind it, and if KNG can get some tags early, then it becomes even more dangerous. Might be the case. They're going to boost up to the window silently. And Furious T side, we saw it recently. Uh, so a lot of stuff fresh in our memories. One of the thing, one of the things that I was most impressed by was Vinny's single push towards apartments. He basically gets left to his own devices a lot on their T-side campaign. Lots of B finishes in their previous Inferno game, and Vinny was having no issues of keeping the A pressure on. This time he has his teammates with him, but he'll be throwing a similar set when on his own. Smokes off. So it does enable them to strafe out of apartments into short. That's a gap that Mayan will have to be responsible for. Back towards B, perhaps. Space taken by Art. He's been spotted, and those Deagle bullets are going to keep him honest. Forced to back away, KNG goes hunting and he does land the tag. That's two members now of Furia working with just under 30 HP. Fallen will be given the task of defending this B approach off and it doesn't look too good for him. He'll have a smoke available, but Desert Eagle only and then it's going to walk through this for looks of things. 30 seconds remaining, I guess that is a feather in his cap. We do have Fur uh, rotating it as well, but has he got a flash? He doesn't. Gone for the HE, so if he somehow lands it between Art and Yuri, there's a couple of kills there, chaps, but... Let's see how good he can time. Oh, the double HE. I actually oh, don't mind this, this now. This could hurt a lot. There it, and is. it does. Catastrophic for Art, but Furia. The dust settles, and they still have the strong man advantage. One will be going down, and the CT is just cowering on A. It's enough. When you see the five seconds left in the top, you're kind of just hoping. You're, just, you're sitting there hoping, maybe they don't plan in time, and we win the round. But no. Now you have to sit for 40 seconds waiting. Am I getting hunted? Will I get a chance to get a kill? Taco's at least searching so he can be active. Man, stuck over towards that pit position. 
It's been a bit of a, a tough one for Maine, hasn't it? This team, right, obviously, those who aren't too familiar, MIBR have had a couple of iterations of roster changes, even coaching changes in recent times. Zeus got the boot. He's the most recent name to leave the door. Mayan is uh, the only individual in the server this evening who's not Brazilian. He's from Argentina. That's, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the language barriers are like. I assume it's absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm very ignorant in that regard as well. But to be fair, in Australia, they don't really teach us much anyway, so. Oh, that bloody bell, I just got PTSD then. <laughs> oh, Rush, please, <laughs> don't go near the bell. If, no, 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 not, no it's, not a, it's not even a question. It's just, <laughs> if they're spamming the bell, please go away from it because we will lose it this evening. Yeah, well, and we're you tonight. Are high tonight. And I have to drive you home. So if you want to lift home, don't go near the bell. Avoid there you go, simple. the bell. Maybe we should bring Rush in, a bit of comic relief. Kind yeah, of, what's uh, going on, Rush? Hello. Hiya. Hiya. How's How it going? Doing? Yeah, doing all right. Yeah? How's this uh, shift going for you so far? It's okay. I've got to say the, the mouse game is pretty uh, pretty tough, to be honest. Yeah, There's it's a, a long old battle, wasn't it? A lot of crazy it? stuff going on. A lot of people behind enemy lines, but this one's been a bit more standard. Yeah, I suppose so. MBR looked like they had this one under their remit, but we'll see the likes of Fury coming back in line now. Thank you so much, Green. We'll leave you to it as we get back into the action here. It's going to be Mayan defending from the core position. He was signing for MIBR, and he is sent back towards the bomb site here. And speaking of which, they've got control of the B area here, but it will be Keisera to detect tack on the other side. Down to one HP, unfortunately, not to get that kill. Another ding delivered here, but it is going to be Fury out with a massive lead now. Four versus two. Now, Frank should confirm it. They've got all the frags they need now to commit towards the A side. They're not going to rush this, I assume. As I say that, Henny with the bomb goes straight through the smoke, and there is only one man who could do any damage. It's Mayan, a Deagle, a Kevlar Vest, and 34 points of health. It's gonna be checked. If he can just land the first bullet out of his Deagle when they have a look from Graveyard, that's phenomenal, and he does. Bomb being planted, though, by Henny. He's gonna be getting that down regardless of the presence in Pit. He may not be, un he may not be unprepared for Fallen here. On the balcony now spotted, they know where both of these CTs are. Whoa. They're pushing him in. Could get a bit dicey, but Henny has dealt with it. And so is Furia. That's 9-9. Nine, nine. They equalize. Hey, Rush, I know you're still there. Hello. We saw some very pouncy strats, right? Alex was talking about them before out of this Furia side, definitely over towards that B bomb site. Can we rock this first gun round without any X-ray on well, if it is course. one of these B plays? Just so you can see how stifling it is for the B defenders. They get caught with nades out. They're often moving around. Let's see what buy we get here. So just one AWP in KNG's hands. Fallen will be missing his big green for this round. One defuse kit in play. And a very passive banana approach. Look how passive they are at the start of the round, guys. Look at the radar in the top left. They're both already coffins and CT. They didn't want to have any look at the top of banana. It's a stark contrast to what we saw from Furia. Heart oh, like a moth to a flame with that half wall. And oh. KNG can't believe his luck. Art oh, just drops straight into the crosshair. KNG, fantastic oh. work with this sniper rifle so far. On for the triple, doesn't quite connect it, but Vinny certainly will that good little fallen though. And he'll be waiting on the bomb side. An equal situation with one minute 10 remaining here, and it will be K Serato finding the edge. Very close round here. Thurb will have the utility to try and deny the plan, but I think it's going down already. Oh, the Molly's missed doesn't as well. Doesn't do anything for him, does it? Yeah, that's no good. He could probably pick up KNG's AWP and save it from top middle here, but he looks like he wants to look in. Smoking off towards the pit. It's a hard avenue in. You can say he knows the jewels is isolated. He can at least give it a good go here. Playing the close corner and perfect round to turn the X-ray off. You see just how little of K Serato <laughs> before he's deleted him. Yeah, even with Fallen's POV there, right? You can see Fallen down in the site. We didn't even really notice K Serato coming out of that apps position, but this was great work from KNG. Some quick stuff. Unable to convert the third there onto the other primary AWP on the other side of things. Henny, who destroyed him while still moving. And now it will be another one of these partial buy scenarios. Deagles, Smokes, a couple of HEs. They were pretty successful with the HE stack they had over towards the B-bomb site before on the entry. And let's see how this one unfolds. So the HE grenades, not going to be deployed early on. You can see they're actually setting up a bit of a bear trap towards middle. That's going to be the Desert Eagles. Either side, two towards quad, two at the arch. Wait until they go for that top of mid control, then hopefully drop the HEs right at their front doorstep. Here in Vinny. Go for the wall bangs here towards the apartments, but no one to be found. No damage inflicted so far. And just to know, this isn't 
much of a partial by Vimeo VR. Only two players with the Kevlar, that's Fur and Taco. And Art, there's a question again, Chad. He absolutely loves it. He's getting stuck in again, and that nade's going to oh, find him oh. for sure. Bonk. Just as he tried. It's it's getting a little bit frustrating, it's, the aggression. I want you to treat him like JW. I know. That's what I, I get asked to. That's yeah. the only way to do it. He's uh, the Brazilian version of JW. Yeah, How about that's that? That's it. That's the, there that, we go. I can accept that. That's fine. Because some of the solo plays he makes, I'm just like, dude, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's not do that. We, we do find pistols. ourselves saying it quite a lot. Yeah. Same for JW, though. And it's, uh, it's a recipe that, when it works, it definitely can catch out even the most seasoned of players. What's oh, the pounce? Here they go. One flash. There's the Molotov, but just before it pops, Fur pops Vinny out of the server. Caserato claws them back in. Are they really going to fall to the Deagles and armor again? Well, it's tagging them. Fur's already caught Henny as well. Yuri's trying to plant. He doesn't get his weapon out in time, and caserato has got a one versus three. 38 HP. He can save them. Oh. He's got the lineup. No, but it's KNG. He'll get the frag. And that's MIBR with just Deagles. Yeah, a little bit sloppy there from the Furia boys. Art offers himself up at the start, and that leads to their demise. We have got the defuse coming in. It's Desert Eagles once more. Fur with three boys. That's three rounds. That's three rounds right there that they have lost to Deagles. Yep. It's actually pretty wild at this point. And you think about the one that, that KNG got the AWP. That is the most insane round because that led to a spree of rounds. That led to Five Furia having no money. So... At this point, that's the difference maker, right? We talk about the pivot rounds. We talk about uh, what changes the tide of a game. Well, that right now has to be it. It has to be the main talking point here because that's leveled things up. 10-10. Double orps are out now. So here we go. This is what MIBR want. This is their most ideal CT setup. It's very expensive. It's very costly if you have to keep scavenging these AWPs and you only have a few members alive at each round's end. But uh, it's going to be the default spread once more. Banana, a little bit of utility expended. Molotov towards the top. Getting inquisitive over towards the window room and boiler. But it's a three-man quad stack coming out from MIBR here. So Arch is very susceptible. But with the double orbs, if they do slip through, Fallen can always watch that defensively from that B-bomb site. Boost Molly. I assume that lands a boost. It's on CD spawn. So trying to push them back off the line. Furia are desperate to bust through towards this B bomb site if possible. It's Art leading the way once again, vaulting up towards first oranges. And he might be able to find Fur here. This could be a nice little play, and the flashbangs are spot on. Fur can't do anything about it. Much better from Furia now. Looking to take the lead in round number 21. Molotov's down. A couple of them, and it looks like it might be Art just calling the save already. So that's quite the change up. That worked so well. Molotov first ensures no one's going to be taking a pot shot when the smoke is flying in. Smoke on top, a flash for the player who's trying to transition. He caught Fur in a perfect moment, just as they were leaping out of that close first orange's smoke they threw down. But this is the problem of double orps, right? We already talk about how difficult it is on a map like Inferno to retake bomb sites. Well, imagine trying to do it with two orps. We said the same thing on the other side for Fury when they were wielding them in the hands of Henny and Art. But it, it's just so tough. If you lose the site and you don't get any trades, you, 5v4, double orp retake, how do you get in? Like, that has to be a, a key talking point of this it's, defense of MIBR. Yeah. And we already saw that they want to play passive, right? They didn't contest for top banana. They didn't really contest for top mid. If you're not going to be active with the AWPs, you're going to sit back and give them the room. They're going to take it because people have gotten to the point right now where utility usage is perfect. It really is. And we've got MIBR with AK-47s available. Remember, that was a very conservative approach from them. Didn't actually have to go for the retake. Lost the one player towards B, and that was enough for them just to save their weapons. It's the correct call, but it is their pick, and Furia now have taken the lead. They'll be entering round of 22 with AKs across the board, and a massive amount of utility and resources in the bag as well. Money is looking very plentiful, as Kenji, Kenji will be falling back on the flames. Drops a flashbang, and back into the default we go. Fear really have been focusing towards a banana position. And Fallen can't do much about it once again. Holds the line, goes to wall banks, but takes a couple of shots, they'll have to go back. See how easy they dealt with those orbs? Literally yeah. two Molotovs, and both orbs had to fall back off of their line. They didn't even get an opportunity to take a good shot. That utility does usually enable the full retake of control, but look oh. at the boost. They're waiting for them to retake this. Great toggle. 
Let's see how much is visible. Nothing. Oh, something, but dropping off. They look to burst through this, and Fallen, he's staying a lot longer than anticipated. Art gets boosted again, and this time they find the opener. There's only one on the site. They extinguish the molly. You'd assume they're going to be going on this. Now the nades are coming in. Keserato a little hesitant. The rotates come in. KNG now in support. And Keserato, yeah. what a shot. That could be the save call immediately. Excellent work from Keserato. And I think he might be right. Another save for MIBR here. We will see them fall all the way back towards the A site. Two clean kills. One by virtue of the utility, as Chad pointed out. Excellent work with the boost behind it as well. It was fallen. Taken out of the equation, fur not far behind him. And the AKs working out fantastically well. They're going to upgrade one of them to AWP. As they go on the hunt here, they can certainly justify this hunt. The money's looking good for them. And you can't keep like MLVR safe orbs and AKs. Let's challenge them. Let's make them feel a bit of pressure here. Spots Taco. They don't really have nades to force these fights, but a flash on heart. Wow, this is a bit of a funny one. Flashing for the fight and straight into pit. Vinny will drop a Mayan on site. I think that might be enough. And they will maintain three rifles into the next. When you see impact player and one kill, you know you're playing Inferno. Look at this. One kill. It was fur on Nubox. Keserato so methodical as he cleared those corners. Finds it. Little slither of CT and manages to convert. That puts us at 12 to 10. Let's see if Furia can continue to string these together. That's a couple of consecutive attacking rounds now. And the CTs, they have been saving, but a clean round could be the breaking point. Alex, do you know the last names of these individuals? Of, not all of them. I was going to say, you want to do another football uh, commentary round for us? Those are good. I mean, let me bring With them the up. With the Brazilian last names, that could be something special, <laughs> oh, mate. It would be. It would be a good one. I'll, hit, I'll do a very long goal uh, when someone wins a round, all right? <laughs> Okay, sounds like a plan. Let's get those. Should we do it on one of the rounds that's not a gun round, perhaps? Uh, no, let's do it now. No? Okay. We got we have three maps on the cards here, Henry. You know this is bonus rounds written all over it. I think it's pronounced it. in the cards, Chad. Sorry. <laughs> I need to get both of their last names up. Still, looks like we are going to be taking our time for the execute. The Molotov does come in. Art to find the first. Okay, I can't load the names. We'll do it different another round. Taco equalizing. Looks like MRBR have actually sufficiently handled the first burst towards B. The bomb is still lingering there, so it looks like it might return. Simply just looking to deny any of that info middle. Yuri can't really do it on his own, though. Oh, perfect start. KNG opens the fragging. There's more where that came from. He can chill. Throws out a smoke to keep him guessing, but he wasn't anticipating Vinny's boost. And oh, oh no. no. Taco, that spray had to be a kill. It gets converted in the end by Mayan into the obscurity of the smoke. What a 2v2. And K Serato on new box with the AWP. If this bomb goes down, it's going to be a disaster. Henny on pool. K Serato's already made the orb work. Fallen. He catches him. And now that 1v1, it's Henny versus Fallen. He's got a smoke here. He could drop it on the bomb. That'll draw out Henny. He's maybe gone for that long con here. Time of the essence. Has got the kit. Walking from CT spawn, but Henny seems to be aware of it. He'll put himself back towards the half-wall position here. And now Fallen still has a good chance. He can smoke on top of the bomb, go for the defuse here, and it'll just have to be the big spray down from Henny. He doesn't commit the time. He hasn't got time to get back on it. He's going to have to hold it now, and Henny's spray Ooh. connects perfectly. No issues there. Sometimes that gets sketchy as hell, but Henny, no issues. Yeah, felt a bit clunky there, didn't it? Oh. Yeah. I would have expected Fallen to get the smoke on there as soon as possible, yeah. right? Just to start applying the pressure, start toying with him. When you've drawn the smoke there with 10 seconds to go on the bomb, you can't really have as much fun with it because they know you have to be defusing at some point, and that's what Fallen was banking on. Didn't really give himself enough chance to actually fake off the bomb. So Henny, a very comfortable finish there. It's going to be 13 to 10. They've managed to get... Oh, a lot of rounds in this second half. Just one from IBR so far. And we'll see them have a full buy here. Double up setup. K and G and Fallen. All right, then. Molly in the hands of Santos. Looking to open up. Here we go. For round 24. Toledo holding middle and does find the first. Great work. Toledo backing away. Oh. And he actually gets a second. He'll shut down another. That Santos gone. 
Five versus three now. Playing the balcony, Maya. He's going to have to do a whole lot here. Three players left for Furia. Pushing forward is Figueredo. Look at how they go. Figueredo. He's shut down all the same. Nice catch. That will be DeMello. <laughs> Two remain for this. It does look like it's all MIBR this time. Not really breaking a sweat for the first three. My goal moment's going to be a bit lackluster here, isn't it? Because it's not going to be an exciting finish. That's what you think. Tellez, he has other plans. Maybe. Utility towards B. First boosted. This is just surely, yeah, a formality. No goals to be celebrated here. A perfect round concluded, and the last two frags come in. It's all Giuseppe. That's 13 to 11. A serious note for a second, that was all the orbs, right? The two openings from Fallen there was fantastic, and then KNG locking it out. So that's what you want to see from that double orb setup. That's the level of impact we're looking for here. You can see they weren't ready for this, and they've actually changed up the bomb sites. Fallen was holding over towards that B bomb site before. Well, now he's over towards A, and KNG switched it up as well. So it's good that these two are interchangeable like this because it allows a lot more flexibility. Every orper approaches the game a little bit differently, and those tendencies can be harder for a team like Furia to kind of net on down when they're calling into these rounds. They don't know which is going to be on which side? Well, they'll be using a tactical timeout just to discuss their options going forward now. The money is pretty good for Furia still. They get the five AKs out, but that's going to be MIBR posting their second round of the second half and bringing it to a scoreline 7-2. to two. Round 25 coming up. Double orb setup still ringing through here as KNG and Fallen will bring those out. Two very explosive orbs historically. I'd like to see KNG really show us what he's made of in that department as Art. He certainly had an interesting game so far here. A couple more maps to go. And we'll see grenades down towards the T steps. Fallen rattles off a shot. Doesn't quite connect. And towards second middle we go. Vinny just lining up a smoke. Ooh. Decent grenade there. Bounced off towards the bedroom window. Smoke down towards library and Fallen. Flashed off, drops the incendiary, trying to buy some time here. But oh, oh, it's a great shot there. Art taken down, trying to run through the flames and the flashes. He's punished, and Fallen might have a second as well. Doesn't quite find Yuri. God, they keep challenging him. They give him the tests, and there's another one narrowly missing the bottom of Yuri. Vinny, however, has clawed one back, and the spray control is there. Only for one. Fallen does regain control of one versus two now. Any, this is more than doable. He's got a Molotov as well, choosing to play around his own smoke. Edgar is staying as a pack. It makes a lot of sense, just hoping to trade off when they have that contact. My God, Henny's opting for the passive approach. It makes a lot of sense. He has got a bit of a vulnerability, though. If they sweep methodically... Oh, this could be huge. Oh, checked Whoa. by Fallen. He's so ready for that. They'll grab the AWP. It's KNG's responsibility to retrieve, and a fuse can come on in. So, 13 to 12. This game is going all the way. That was scary, wasn't it? Henny there, you could see he was prepared for that angle, but Fallen rears his head. And I think the key was actually Taco getting a multi-kill. We didn't catch that action because it was going down. There were so many fights all across the map here, but at Taco's kills on that A site, that really stopped the push. You can see how awkward it gets when they took all that territory, and that's why they were so eager to push on past Fallen. But as soon as Taco puts them dead in their tracks, that was the round pretty much done and dusted right there. Wow. Oh, it's a hero or It is. I was about to say, you don't see many of those these days. And Art, I, I'm not surprised he's the one to wield it, to be honest with you. It seems like he wants to take matters into his own hands in more ways than one today. We are going to be seeing a bit of aggression in the CTs. Three towards Banana. Interesting. Look at that approach. And a deep one towards T-Steps as well. So they want to go for full control here. Yeah, can we maybe skybox that? I think that was, sure. a, that was an MIBR utility combo to try and deny full mid info. It hasn't quite worked out. There's a gap that he can work with, but... Could be part of a conditioning for a mid-push later in the piece. Lovely theory. Don't see that all too often, but still, nothing came of it. Only 70 seconds left. A hero warp on the T side of Inferno. It's certainly not a uh, common approach. It would require some missteps here. Oh, well, he has caught the jump peaker oh, before. Yeah, this is always a, a bit of a scary one to watch. You normally see players spotted out like that and then wait for their opportunity to blow their head off. We'll see that not happen this time, though. It's just going to be for alone towards B. So Art hasn't fired off a shot just yet. So going to hopefully get a quick pick, explode towards the B side. He's got two smokes. 
Just the basics, if they do get this kill. And uh, he might be able to find it. Drops the smoke, he knows that could cause a reaction. But he's flashed off for now. Gonna send in the cavalry. And here comes the flashbang and potentially the full commitment. Good counter flash and Fallen. He's got his orb positioned perfectly. Two kills already. That's gonna scare them off. They have to advance. They need to hit these pistol shots. Arts the one at the back with his AWP and he finally does connect. Mission accomplished for the first. KNG strafing into his crosshairs and a left eye peak. He still hits it. He's hitting them all. Can't find the third. Henny, however, he doesn't last much longer and that's gonna be a safe recovery. MIBR equalizing 13-13. All right, well, we can show you what you were looking for there, yeah. Alex. I can play this one out. You're going to see that utility coming on down middle. KNG setting up the smoke. It's going to drop on down mid. The Molotov over the top for anybody in front of that as well. And what you want to do here is keep them on T-stairs so you can throw a bunch of nades on down. I think that's actually what they went for to get a bit of damage onto Art. You'll see Taco's nade coming on through, and there you go. So you want to keep them T-stairs so you can do more utility damage in a tighter choke point. Yeah, it worked perfectly. And the fact that the Molotov doesn't get extinguished, but the smoke instantly popped, that was a kind of a cool combination as well. Perfect way to lock down any funny business early in middle. Well, Arts will have to use the MAC-10 this round after purchasing the AWP. Not a huge deal on Inferno, so they can make this weapon work, but certainly not ideal either. Gonna be sending out the Molotov for the quad side here. We're seeing more of that bounce, gr uh, bounce grenade towards second mid, Chad. You actually were talking Oof. to me about that the other day. Yeah. Trying to cause damage towards the second mid players. Very games used to do that back in yes. Source, right? They used to do that a lot. They'd get the mid spawn, they'd run across, they'd dump those nades out and get people defaulting up alt mid. Yeah, it's good to see the old classics come back every now and then. It's like fashion, isn't it? Yeah, it always comes back full circle. Strategy is cyclical. Charging up through their own long smoke. This could cause someone to get caught out, and it was Taco. KNG quick to react, though, and he does more than that. He even frags. Yuri cut down, and now five versus three. Mayan, the next to be tested. KNG, he's everywhere. Supporting his teammate. Art, however, catching Mayan mid-air. Another frag like that, and they've got the sight. A miss. Bolts the sniper. A hard flick. There's another one that came from. Taco advances blind through the smoke. And that looks like Fury have managed to make this disadvantage completely turn on its head. But they have to hold on to this one. They can't lose this now. They oh, were down at right, another disadvantage. Away. Art again. His responsibility was to look towards Quad. They had players watching the Arch died. I couldn't tell you why he's averted his gaze. They've fallen. AWP should still be fine. He can go for the wall bang though. Caserato's low. That would actually take him down. Does he want to take that shot? He's looking towards the Cold Zera area, and he gets the first kill. Like I said, a wall bang would be enough. He Go pulls on. the trigger there. That could be it. Oh. He's going for it. And now he needs to know where he is. Oh. Amazing effort there from Fallen. This game really is starting to warm up now. Every round's coming down to the wire. This time, it will be Furia to break the spell of MIPR. Good gracious me, that was epic. I thought he had it, man. Lovely game, this one is. K Serato did so well jumping over the sniper. I mean, like, <laughs> KNG, his options were numbered when he's getting hit by moves like that. It is K Serato that seals it for them. Furia, grateful to have such a consistent fragging presence. He's rocking a 28 again. Yeah. Well, there's probably a reason MIBR wanted to pick this kid up for a while. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Meant to be pretty good, and I think we're seeing that here this evening. But Furia, they need to to start looking a little bit more threatening here as we get towards the tail end of this first map. They've got the buy on through. Taco only has a deagle right now. Not too sure if there's a weapon for him in CT spawn to scavenge. There's two defuse kits in play. Single AWP this time. And Fallen and KNG, they've been finding a lot of frags these last few. 14 to 13. They might be our... Will be tested in round number 28 here. Deagle for Taco. It's not a Chris J cosplay. He actually has to use this weapon. And we do see the smoke deployed towards T steps. Mayan, a bit of confidence from the young man here. I like the idea, but oh, goodness. Jesus. This is a weird. So I've never seen anyone go for that play, I'll be honest. Like, the through the smoke down T steps is brave. I tip my hat to him, but it doesn't lead him to a frag. Oh, well, you're only going to do one of those a half, and that was his. <laughs> Here's the problem, right? If they lose this round, they concede 15. But not only that, there's only $2,400 coming into that CT side yeah. of bank account at the end of this round, which at best is maybe a couple of pistols and light utility. So MIBR need to either save or turn this 4v5 disadvantage around. The power play from Fury here, if they regroup and do something as a team, they should convert this and put 15 on the board. That's an if. Let me give you the but. 
Kanji still has that AWP in play. They're still very forward in Banana. That means the two individuals right now on the A site are on high alert. There's no traffic in Banana right now. So you got to hit some big shots here. Fallen, 26 kills to the name. What more can you do? He's trying to spam through the smoke for the smoke lineups, and that will keep them without the pins pulled. Look at the angle Taco's going for here. Very vulnerable to short, realizes that is no longer under his teammate's control. Fallen's playing a bit more of a passive line. Art, however, is going to be jumping out with his knife out, and Taco can't believe his luck. That's the equalizer they needed. 20 seconds. Suddenly, this is getting awkward now for Furia. They've got rifles, and Fallen's is working wonderfully. Yuri into the site. 14 seconds as Vinny falls. Where is the bomb? It's loose on hay bales. Oh. Serato trying to dig him out. There's still a player on site. No! Oh, it's KMG! Four seconds! He Come has on. to plant! Yuri's got no chance. Oh my god, another ridiculously chaotic <laughs> round. Yeah. It starts with Mayan rushing T stairs, and it ends with Yuri jumping at four seconds. Pretty unreal scenes, though. I'm gonna be honest with you, Alex. The, the fact Mayan's doing this, so this is quite a common move, right? You drill the incendiary, you're normally swinging towards Banana, if I'm not mistaken here, chat. Now, the what strangers comes in here when he goes towards T steps. He's trying to get down here and challenge his position. You can see they're oh. flying, but it doesn't work out for him. Luckily, they still win the round. It's as scrappy as you like, of course. The KNG closes things out with the nose scope towards Yuri. This one really has gone the full distance. It's a full investment as well from Fury. They're swallowing grenades. They're going to go for a B rush with two players. Instead, they slow it down. What is that? What are they up to? It's okay, Serato, no armor. Fully invested is Vinny and Art. Like, what, what is the game plan? I guess they'll well, go they for... They get AKs next round in a couple of players' hands. That's about it. Oh, wow. First transfer nearly finished off two frags there. Okay, Serato does manage to get across just with taking liberties. He's in full. What? And he's actually what got a frag. And now Vinny's got a... No, no, no. How has this <laughs> happened? Round 29 <laughs> is going furious, way. I don't know how to break this one down. This is not even <laughs> Counter-Strike anymore. I don't know what we're watching, but I love it. <gasps> it will be Taco and Mayan now. Have what? to go for this one. You can't save. You know we're up against armor and pistol. That's about it. They'll smoke off towards B. What? And they're going for it. The incendiary's down. They'll have no money if they give this round up. They need to be very careful the next few moves here. It's going to be map point for Furia. Oh, as Mayan no. goes down, Taka can maybe go for a defuse, but he's got no care here, boys. He's going to go down any second of this stage. It's all done. 15 to 14. Furia have made that round work. What was Three the kills. call? What was it? Let's go B, I guess. They can even lose the first frag. Caserato, let's see what happened here. So he gets flashed. He goes to pull. Muscle memory. He just manages to get HP, there yeah. safe. Yeah. And then the fully flashed Fallen decided to push towards him. And then Yuri and Vinny just start hitting every shot that they get given. My oh. goodness, 15. And the CTs have got peanuts and pocket lint Gosh, for the final round. We've had 29 rounds played. Art's been involved in 16 opening duels here. The guy is an absolute madman when it he comes around hopping mental, around these corners. He? What is going on? 10 against him. He just doesn't care. He flies himself in towards the required areas every single time. Certainly not scared to fight. Um, unfortunately for MIBR, they're going to have pistols across the board here. That was a strange decision toward the end. We've had a lot of those. Uh, it is a, a Brazilian derby here, so bear in mind some strange things can happen. The mindset shifts a little bit. I reckon they win this. Watch us go OT here. Somehow this game just keeps on baffling the brain. I reckon there's some more for Inferno. Only pistols, though. Everything points towards Furia taking this one. You'll never guess who's at the front lines. It's Art and ready. There we go. Mayans managed to find one. Important frag. Caserato does manage to catch the banana aggression, though. Keeps it level. Okay, Serato leading the charge. And his chosen area. They approach with conviction, but KNG with a deagle. Is it enough? Maybe not. He gets one. Significant damage towards Caserato as well, but he's got his hat trick. This is for the map. One round will do it for Furia. No kits available, but Mayan, he's found himself an M4. He's currently sat on 12 and 18. Another one of these young players brought in that seems to be a little bit out of his depth. See whether Taco and himself can do anything about this. Flash was good, but Caserato is remaining, and he'll find his quad kill.